Hi, my name is Beth DuRoy, and I'm the Director of Music Ministries here at Hickson UMC, and I'm so happy to be with you this Wednesday for our midweek devotional. I've been thinking about our church's theme this year. I've been a people of prayer, and in my particular ministry area, we often sing scriptures, sometimes we sing prayers, and one of the anthems that the chancel choir is singing in a few weeks is a prayer that has been attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. So I first heard this text when I was an undergraduate. Our college choir was singing a setting of it, and even though I was 18 at the time and many years have passed since then, that prayer, that text, has always held a really special place in my heart, and I wanted to share it with you today. So it says, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, thy pardon, Lord. Where there is doubt, let there be faith. Where there's despair, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, let there be light. Where there is sadness, let there be joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. You know how as you read a familiar scripture, sometimes a part will stick out to you that maybe you didn't notice before? Well, in this season of my life, in 2022, as I think about all the people in my sphere who need the help and the healing of Jesus, the line about being consoled versus being the consoler really struck me. That line reads, O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. And I don't think that means that we shouldn't ask for help when we need it. It's good and it's right to ask for help and guidance and wisdom when we need it. But I have found that some of the most beautiful ways to find healing and help in my own life are when I'm seeking the good of others, when I'm looking for needs that I might meet even in the midst of my own pain. So I pray that this text ministers to your soul today as it has ministered to mine. And I do hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week.